in the middleweight division at UFC 285. This fight goes down in the main card. You got the UFC debut of Bo Nickel, just 3-0, taking on veteran Jamie Pickett, who comes in at 13 and 8. So let's get right to it. Pickett, one inch taller at 6'2". He's got a four inch reach advantage, 80 to 76. Now, Bo Nickel is a left hander, southpaw. Uh, Pickett stands right handed. So far, Bo Nichols landed about 3.7 significant strikes per minute, or Jamie Pickett over a longer span, longer career, right? 3.3 significant strikes per minute. But Bo Nickel has a ridiculous uh, 24 takedown average. So 24 takedowns over three rounds. So that's eight takedowns a round. Uh, of course, this is in limited action, so that number is going to come way down. But the reality is, is this guy likes to shoot for takedowns. Jamie Pickett lands like a takedown every other round. Bo Nickel hasn't even had to defend the takedown position yet, or takedowns yet, because he's constantly going for takedowns. Against Donovan Beard, he had five takedowns uh, in the first round. Ended up getting the submission victory against Zachary Borrego. Uh He also had a submission about one minute in, so he's had limited action. Both fights going down at Dana White's Contender Series. He went in on the first fight. Dominated uh, Borrego, and then Dana White says, "Hey, you got to come back and fight again." He comes back and dominates again, and both of his opponents got hamzaded, meaning they got zeros across the board. So in total, he has uh, seven significant strikes, three takedowns, and three submission attempts, and he's gotten two of those submissions. So the fights haven't lasted very long at all. Now Jamie Pickett. Uh, 65% takedown defense, that's going to be a problem. Lost his last fight to Tulian uh, by KO. For that, Kyle Dawkins submission. He did beat Joseph Holmes and Loriano Staropoli by decision. So the thing with Jamie Pickett is he's a decent middleweight. Not great, not terrible, but a good first fight for Bo Nickel, who is number 19 on our dude list. So he's coming, in our opinion. So you already know. I think this is going to be an easy fight for him. Willie Hamza, uh, Jamie Pickett, I don't know. Meaning, will he hold him to all zeros? I don't know. I'm sure Jamie Pickett will get a couple strikes in, but Bo Nickel should come in and dominate this fight easy and get a submission victory in the process. But he might be a little nervous, so we'll see how it plays out. But either way, he's winning. He'll move to 4 0 here in the middleweight division at UFC 285.